Well, good afternoon, everyone. We're really excited today. We have Cindy Brown. We, we have been anticipating her coming. She's worked at TFC Recycling for over seven years. Um, she is also wanting to take us on a tour of TFC, so that will be on the books probably when it's a little cooler out, so probably be in the fall. But um, she will talk to us today about what we can and cannot recycle. Also, she has these cute little boxes to put your candy in. I don't think you want to recycle in this, but she has those back there at the end. And also, I'll have a handout for you, and it will give you a list of what they accept. So um, I'm going to go, I have it in my office, I'll go put it on the back of the table, and when you leave, you can pick one up. Um, also, she has this little handy, what can I put in my blue bin? Uh, bin. So this little handy uh, card is on the table too. If, if they run out, we'll have the handout, the bigger handout. So thank you very much. Let's give Cindy a big welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a dog mom, but that's okay. Um, how many here have been to TFC for a tour? What does okay. TFC stand for? Tidewater Fiber Corporation. Okay, so the rest of y'all will come again and then in the fall, um, and we'll do a tour in person, and that helps a lot. So people that don't know who TFC is, it stands for Tidewater Fiber. We're headquartered in Chesapeake, Virginia. Um, we've been in business since 1973. We have about 266 employees for all the locations, which is Chesapeake, Chester, Newport News. Um, and we do um, recycling only. We don't have an office there for Nags Head, North Carolina. We just picked that up. Um, you're going to see a video today that's going to show what can be recycled at our plant. We Recycling for us is a business, so this is how we pay salaries and how I am paid. But we have to take things that we can sell to the market and that can be turned into something else. And I think when you see the video, you'll see the process of how we pick it up, how we process it, and then how it's bailed and then we sell it to market. Okay, so we're gonna see the video now and then we'll do questions, is that okay? Okay. Airworks sort like things, 
It's just paper from heavier plastic, glass, and metal items. Magnets are used to attract steel cans, lifting them off the conveyor belt. Another machine with a special rare earth magnet propels the aluminum cans into a separate compartment. Finally, employees separate out by hand the plastic bottles and containers numbers one through seven, as well as cartons. After the sorting is completed, each group of items are packaged together so they can be transported to various facilities to now be repurposed and reused. For example, the plastics are bailed together in what now becomes a 1,250 pound cube that may contain as many as 20,000 plastic bottles. Bales of cardboard now weigh 1,800 pounds. Fun fact about cardboard, it can be recycled to new cardboard seven times. Here are bales of aluminum cans. Each bale weighs 1,100 pounds. Fun fact, did you know that aluminum cans are 100% recyclable? and can be back on the shelf with a new can in about 60 days? Glass bottles and jars are broken inside discreetly to approximately three inches in size and shipped to a facility that further sorts the glass by color and removes contaminants. After that, the glass is set to be made into new bottles. Now the sorting materials are ready to leave the facility and travel the next part of the cycle. Each type of material will be sold to another company to be cleaned or used to make a new product that you can buy at the store. And this is where the materials truly get recycled. Old cans are melted down and made into new aluminum cans filled with delicious beverages and put back on the shelf. Fresh paper towels and toilet paper are made from old newspapers and junk mail. And cartons are turned into office and tissue paper. Some items placed in your recycling container will be used to create something totally different, like plastic from soda bottles, which can be formed into a fiber that is used to fill sleeping bags and ski jackets. It can also be woven into cloth that is used to make t-shirts and tote bags. Some plastic can even be used to make a product that looks like wood. Whatever happens to those recycled items you put out, you can be certain they won't end up at a landfill and they will get used again. If you're not already, get your family recycled by learning what materials are accepted and where they are collected. Recycle cardboard boxes, mixed paper such as newspapers, junk mail, magazines, catalogs and cereal boxes, steel and aluminum cans, numbers one through seven plastic bottles and containers, cartons, and glass bottles and jars, and please, no plastic bags. They break down the equipment at the merc and bring the recycling process to a halt. Plastic bags should be taken to your local retail store. Also, please don't put styrofoam or food contaminated items in your recycling containers. Ew! Remember to rinse all bottles, containers, and cartons before recycling them. You can then put your plastic caps back on, and they too will be recycled. If you'd like more information, call CBWMA or visit us online at CBWMA.com. Anybody questions? How are the cats doing? Oh, there's plenty of cats. Oh, I forgot. Some of them were adopted, but we still have plenty more. Do you need a cat? Not yet. Okay. Were you there when we had the dog? Okay, the dog, we got him adopted too, so, but we still have lots of cats. If anybody needs a cat. But thank you for asking. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe we should get a microphone to her. Yes. Let me go up here. Would you help us to understand why foam cannot be recycled? Okay. Foam is a product that we cannot sell to the market or recycle at all. So that, therefore, we cannot recycle that. We can't sell it to anybody. We can't make it into anything. So it is just, it just can simply not be recycled. Now, there's a guy named Bruno from RVA Compost that's working on doing something with styrofoam and the soil. But as far as TFC, we cannot take it. Ma'am, you have, oh, she has, yes, yes. yes. Um, there, are, there are numbers, is it one through seven on the back of plastic containers? And can all those be recycled or just, I thought it was just ones and twos. We at TFC Recycling take one through sevens. That's what we recycle. Now, a container of oil has a something on it. We cannot take that. We have no way to sell that. We have no way to break it down. It just cannot be recycled. So I think the easiest thing to do is look at what we can recycle and just go by that. Does that may help at all? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Is the recycling that is picked up at Cedarfield, does that go to your facility to TFC Recycling? Yes. Yes. You have a contract through TFC Recycling. It comes to our plant. We process it. We sort it. We bail it. And then we send it to market. Okay. I, I'm, I'm having trouble understanding why we, we get information that says only one and number one and two plastic can be recycled and you, you are saying numbers one through seven through our contract with the governing body for CBWMA which is who governs us they're like our government we legally have to take one through sevens okay I, I understand and I, th I thought we were always taking one through sevens I mean, as long as I've been here, I thought it was one through sevens, unless I'm confused about something. The tricky part is your carts are contracted through Republic Services because that's who you have your trash with. But we actually pick them up. We pick up the recycling at the carts. But your contract is with Republic. If Republic told you something like that, I'm telling you from the recycler that that's what we take. But you are contracted through Republic for your trash and just the carts recycling, but we pick them up. That's our containers, that's our trucks coming out there. It is coming back to our plant. Okay, so you it's very confusing when you get two vendors involved. But you pick up what's recycled from Cedarfield? From yes, the like there's a big 30 yard in the back a recycling big container that all comes to us the carts we pick them up that comes to us in the cottages okay thank you very yeah much. it's confusing believe me I'll try and get that question answered who do you sell all these recyclable bales to um, the aluminum loans mostly goes to Budweiser and Anheuser-Busch Coke and Pepsi the, most of the um, plastic goes to, it's either Tomahawk or Mohawk in North Carolina to make carpet. Um, let's see, the glass goes to a glass company in North Carolina. You can only recycle glass to glass. It can't make anything else. That's the most expensive thing for us to recycle because you can't bail it. You know, it's, it's very labor intensive. Let's see, the cardboard it used to go to China, and then of course China cut everybody off. So now our cardboard goes to South Korea, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Poland. 
And what do they do with it? They make it into boxes. They ship stuff to us. That's why China was such a vital market for us to be in because everything we buy comes from China. I don't do that anymore, but most people buy everything from China and it comes in a box. Thank you. You're welcome. Sierra Field at one point asked us to break down all our cardboard boxes. Is that your requirement or is someone else? It's really everybody's requirement because if you don't break it down, you're wasting a lot of room in the containers and you can make more space for what can be recycled. So it's just, it's really better for everybody. It's better for y'all to be able to fit more things in there and it's better for us when it comes to the plant. I haven't looked at the materials in the back yet, but on water bottles, um, I cannot find a number and they tell us here, unless it's one to two, we can't recycle it. So mm -hmm. what do we do with those? Most water bottles, like there's a little bitty one back like this, put it in there. I mean, it's plastic. We need this plastic. We can smush it down and, you know, send it to North Carolina or wherever we're sending it, but yeah. But all water bottles can be recycled. I mean, this one doesn't even have a number on no. it, but I see these in the plant all the time and it's plastic, so I know it's good. Okay. I want to tell y'all a story too after she asked this question and it will explain a lot of things too. Somebody had said to me that cardboard boxes can't have paper tape that is not a big problem for us. Okay, now, whether it is for who else recycle, it is not a problem for us. I want to tell you this little story real quick, and it's happened two times, and we're lucky that nobody has been killed, but in Richmond and in our Virginia Beach office, someone, some resident put batteries in their recycling and it caught our truck on fire. Now that could have been, you know, our driver could have been killed, it could have been horrible, but that's how important it is to understand what is recyclable and what's not. Batteries are recyclable, they just can't be recycled at our plant. They have to go to Radio, not Radio City, but Battery Plus or whatever else. Um, but you know, that's happened two times. Somebody smokes and they put a cigarette in there and their recycling can and it caught our truck on fire. You know, that's, that's, those are serious things that people don't think about, but that, the batteries are very serious. Yes, sir. How do you want our recycled material packaged, and what do we do with the non-recyclables? Do we have like paper bag which has all the recyclables in it and then sits outside our door found in a park here. So are you are you're on, you're inside, you're not the cottages. Okay. I don't know the procedures. They've never been explained here as to what we should do with recyclable materials. We don't have any instructions on procedures to follow in terms of what to put the recyclables in and then what to put the non recyclables in. Okay. Maybe label them or whatever they want done. And is there a specific time on my floor that I need to have that outside my door? Um, we're really, we really need a lot more information. We also need better information on what is recycled and what isn't. Okay. Now, your one through seven is a big help today because that'll cover a lot more items. But still, there's items just like you said, batteries and so forth. I would like a list of saying, here's the major recycled items, here's the major non-recyclable items. You don't give us these. Okay. I, I have a sheet that says, okay, what can be recycled? Um, and I think that might really help. And 
we're going to talk about the non-recyclables first, and then we're going to talk about the recyclables, okay? The non-recyclables, now this is somebody that tries to save some, save everything and make sure it has a home. So if it is a trash, if it is plastic, there are all kinds of charities, animal shelters that need plastic bags because they have to clean up poop. So do cats, you know, shelters for cats. They need plastic bags to clean up the poop. If you have batteries, anything electronic, computers, batteries, stereos, cassettes, I'm aging myself, anything that's electronic, if it's working, take it to Goodwill, take it to Salvation Army, but somewhere that it can take it to your church, take it somewhere where somebody else can use it. Clothes are the same thing. Clothes, take them somewhere where someone else can use them. What is recycled here, I'm gonna give you a list. How they pick it up from what I understand, and I think it's Miss Shirley, is that right? Ms. Shirley is in housekeeping? Sharon. Sharon, okay. Sharon has a staff that collects it outside your door, is that correct? Is that the process? Okay. So she collects it and then it is taken to our big recycling bin out back. I don't know when she collects it, but I know that she does and they put it in a big recycling container. If y'all were not doing a great job of recycling, I would know about it because the plant would say, the plant manager would call and say, we've got contamination coming from Cedarfield, we gotta look at this. So I know y'all are doing a great job recycling. So hands for y'all, okay? But I, th I know it's frustrating for you, believe me, and it's confusing, and I understand that. But I think that list will really help you because there's also a list on there that says what's not recyclable. Plastic bags, yard material, anything like that, and I think it'll help you. Um, is there a chance to get more recycling bins for us? I mean, the only one that we saw is one in like the mail room, but is it possible to get more recycling bins maybe in each one of the trash rooms that we can start putting stuff in? We talked about that when I was here a couple months ago. And we're trying to figure out how to make space for that. Because there's not, if I remember correctly, there's not a lot of space in those trash rooms, right? It's kind of small. I'll ask them, I will because ask. We can put stuff out and they don't collect it. So that's, that's the second part of the problem. Okay. Well, they're probably short staff like we are, so I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure that's what's going on. A lot of envelopes, used envelopes, have a little see-through pane, and I'm wondering if you can just recycle the whole thing, or should we separate those little see-through? Um, I wouldn't pain. separate it because by the time we smush it and bail it, that probably see-through thing is gone off. You know. I have never heard from our plant that that's a problem, so I would leave it on there. Thank you. Our housekeeping staff collects in paper bags outside our doors here in the big house every first Friday, third Friday, and fifth Friday. By two o'clock, okay. your trash is to be out. If it's after two, it often stands there and you have to put it in the trash room. And we are aware there are some experimental trials on the second, third, fourth floor, sea wings with new trash bins. It's always best for us residents to check our informer as well as Touchtown on the okay. Cedarfield app for those dates. Okay, thank you for clearing that. I appreciate that. Is she talking about recyclable? I think she's, she's talking, you're talking about recycling, right? I'm so used to people calling it trash and not meaning to that I knew what she was talking about. So yes, she means recycling. On the second page of our newsletter, all the way at the bottom, it always says the 
dates of when the apartment recycling pickup is. With all good intentions, I know that there are things put in the recycle that are not recyclable. For instance, some people put their recyclables in a plastic bag. Does that immediately reject the entire contents? Yes. It, you, we used to be able to go through, we would open up the trash bag and we would go through it. Unfortunately, life happens and we've gotten so busy that our sorters cannot do that. Um, also, after COVID, a lot of things changed about how we process. So it's, it's sad, but yes, just don't put it in a plastic bag. You saw what it does to our machines. It shuts it down completely. As far as the recycling bins, I'm assuming they're talking about the new ones that we're testing out not being emptied. They're not going to be taking those things up every day. They're going to wait until they get to a reasonable fillness before they bother doing that. This is just my opinion from meeting with Sharon and other staff members. It is, that's a labor intensive thing for them to come and pick all that up, okay? And we thought about having the residents bring it down and it's just not safe. So I think, I know what they're doing now is the best thing they can do. You set your recycling outside your door by, is it 2 o'clock? By 2, 8, 2 p.m., right? On your selected service days, and they have a copy of that? Okay. First Monday, third, uh, first Friday, third Friday, and fifth Friday. Does that help, sir? Anybody else? I, I, we were talking about doing a tour in June. I would love to have y'all, but it's very hot in the plant. You know, there is some AC in there, but it's an industrial site and it's hot. And I don't want y'all to get overheated. So I think we're gonna look at the fall. But once you come to the plant and you see how we process everything, you will understand it's so much better. And we recover probably 80 to 85 to 90 percent of whatever comes into our, our plant. Our rate to the um, landfill is very, very small. Now, at Christmas time, that is another story because the city of Richmond, they can be the worst recyclers in the whole world, and I don't know why. But there's lights in there, dolls, paper, you know, just. We don't like to go to the plant. We don't like to go to the shoesmith because we have to pay them to unload our trash. San Antonio, Texas has done a disservice to recycling. They have the recycling police and they have a really nice SUV that they have them in and they go down the street and they look in the trash can and if they see anything that's not supposed to be in there, you get a fine for $25. The problem is people are stopping recycling because once you put it out on the curb, you're not safe anymore from somebody else putting something in there. Right, you're exactly right. Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to do a quick commercial for the Cedar Chest, which is one of the best recycling programs we have here at Cedarville. So if you do have gently used clothing, um, gently used housewares and other items, we would very much um, appreciate donations. We are at a point, however, where we're um, very saturated. So if you could kind of go slowly and not do major spring cleaning, but please know that those, those items do find happy homes with team members and your fellow residents who enjoy getting a new outfit or getting something special for their apartment. So I just wanted to say thank you and also remind everybody that that's a great place to recycle as well. Thank you. <laughs> Talking about recycling, many of us also use items that we don't believe the cedar chest will take. We'll take them to the employee's table. And if the employees 
take, they may, and if it's never taken, it's trash. But the employee table is in the area where the employees sign in. If you go down the hallway past the clinic and before you enter assisted living, turn right, go into that area past the elevator, turning right, and there's a big table near an old-fashioned wall telephone. And you leave your items there. And it's amazing how quickly items are picked up. For instance, I had a lovely gift of bath mats and towels. And so I took my old ones down and they were picked up immediately. There, everything here can be recycled if we give it a try. Good job. Anybody else have any questions? Do you feel like you understand? Or are you confused? Um, all the styrofoam that we use, that all has to be trashed, is that correct? Yes. There's no way at all to reuse it? Our plant cannot process styrofoam. We have no system in place. It is not a product that we can sell to a market. There is a gentleman, and I'll be glad to give y'all his name. He's called um, Bruno, and he's from RVA Compost, and he is experimenting with styrofoam and soil. So I'll let you know what happens. Are y'all composting here? Not yet. Okay. Yeah. He's really good to get you started. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. I'm in a cottage and I do compost. You do? Individuals might. Good for yes. you. Good. Yeah, I have a plastic container and you stick it in the top and eventually you can open the bottom and you've got some lovely soil. Good. I like to hear that. It's a lot more than that. Anybody else? My, Sharon has my number. I know you have, everybody has my number. So if you need me, call me. No question is stupid. That's what I'm here for, okay? We have a thing called Styrofoam Zero Waste Box. Okay. And so you can get those, and I'm sure there's, I haven't finished reading the whole thing, but there's some place that will pick those up. Okay. That's good info, because we cannot do anything with styrofoam. What did she say? There's a thing called zero waste, and they it's a zero waste box, and they will accept styrofoam in there, and I'm sure there's some place that will accept that to recycle. I just haven't read the whole thing on the internet yet. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any questions? Yes, we still have items on shippers that are waiting to go overseas because it's so backed up. So when you go by the port, you'll see a lot of shippers there. Yes, some of that is our stuff. Thank you all for recycling. You all do a really good job. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Thank you so much for coming you do. today. The flyer in the back of what you yeah, can there's and some can't good recycle, as well as the demonstration exhibit in the back. <laughs>